What's shaking guys, Magic Activator here back again for episode number two of our Pokemon Coliseum Let's Play. In the last episode, we kicked things off on a very high energy note. We broke into an evil organization's hideout, stole a device from them, and blew the place up. And then after having a high speed getaway, we had a run in with two shady characters who seemed to be up to no good. So we decided to rough them up a little bit and send them packing. But they did drop this bag, so today we're going to find out what's inside. So uh, let's go ahead and get things started. The sack's mouth is firmly closed with a tightly knotted rope. Undo the knot. Yes, let's do it. Magic tugged hard on the tightly knotted rope. The knot gradually loosened. Magic undid the knot, keeping the sack's mouth closed. Mm. Found ourselves a lady friend in the bag. Hmm. You know what? That's kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. Oh boy, and now I gotta do her voice. I totally forgot that she talks in this. Okay. Um, oh man, I... And she's gonna be a recurring character, which is bad, because I'm gonna have to do her voice a whole lot. Phew! Thank goodness I'm saved! Where is this? Where did those two bring me? This is Phoenix City, the opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. The way he battled those goons, it was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, is that so? Thank you, and, uh, you are? Oh, so you're named Magic. I am. Oh, and we get to name her, which is super exciting. So, I'm not gonna lie. Back in the day, obviously, uh, when I played this back then i was not very original with her name to be completely honest i mean so obviously she looks kind of like misty from you know back in gen one and the anime and all that stuff but that's my was my initial impression was i thought she looked like misty but i was like i can't call her misty because she's not misty so uh, i decided to be super original and name her something different and i ended up naming her may which obviously is super original seeing as the main female character from the third generation games is May. So I'm not going to go with uh, the names that I used to uh, call her back then. So instead, we're going to go ahead and give her a name. And normally, whenever I get a chance to name a character in an LP, I like to name them after one of uh, my friends. But typically, the character ends up being a male. So uh, and since I have more male friends in the community than female friends, it's going to be a little bit um so obviously there's charlie there's blue jay on toast uh cool pikachu um yo <laughs> yo i know what i gotta call you <laughs> so <laughs> i'm actually not gonna name her after <laughs> i'm actually not gonna name her after one of uh my female friends and instead, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and name her after my good friend Celestialite because he got that Celestial bod. <laughs> Yo, I got to do it. I got to do it. It's too perfect. We got to call it. We got to call her Celeste. So for those of you guys who don't, who don't know, there's this recurring joke between me and my friends uh, because our other good friend, Nerdy Steve. So let me say it like this. Celestialite is known for playing female characters in games, especially stuff like Splatoon and stuff like that. And there was this thing that happened one time when we were all playing Splatoon where our friend Nerdy Steve saw Celeste's character in the like main lobby or whatever and was like, didn't realize it was Celeste and was like, oh, this this girl kind of cute kind of thing. And it was so funny because he had no idea that it was Celeste. And when Celeste told him, like, you, that that's my character model, it was like, it was the funniest thing ever. So ever since then, we've made uh, jokes about uh, his celestial bod. So we're going to go ahead and uh, name her Celeste because I think that's, I think that's dandy. My name's Celeste. I'm sure glad I met you. I was in the neighboring town when those two... When those two grabbed me, oh, those guys, did they use a peculiar Pokemon? 
A peculiar Pokemon? No, they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by peculiar Pokemon? Oh, no, that's fine then. Well, it's easy to see that something's on your mind. You should go see our mayor for his advice. He's a very kind person. I'm sure he'll be able to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square, past here. Go up the stairs from the square, and it's on your left. The mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. Hey, Magic, I know it's imposing, but I don't have anyone else that I can turn to. Please, can I get you to escort me for a while? Sure, I mean, if it means I get to, uh, to see that celestial bot all the time, I mean... <laughs> oh, man, I really hope Celeste watches this episode. <laughs> Thank you, Magic. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If you're with me, Magic, it won't matter if those guys come back again. Thank you. Thank you for joining me for a while. Celeste became a partner. Yo, I like the little jingle. That was nice. Alright, so let's head on up here and visit the mayor. The mayor of Phoenix City. Yo, just look at this. This is actually a really gorgeous game, honestly. For the time and what it was... Hello. Well, this guy doesn't look menacing and important at all. Yo, what voice do I give him? Yo, I, I'm gonna hit him with that, like, Orochimaru voice. I don't even know if I can do an Orochimaru voice. It's been so long since I actually heard his voice. I guess you're a traveling trainer. Hmm, I like what I see in your expression. <laughs> I have a feeling I may see you again somewhere. Well, that wasn't mysterious at all. Well, let's go ahead and head inside. Yo, and check out the mayor. Yo, I love the mayor's design. He's just like, he got that like rotund belly. And, uh, yo, I know exactly what voice I'm going to give him. I know exactly what voice I'm going to give him. It's, it's the perfect voice. And if Steve is watching this, he is going to be so triggered right now. <clears throat> Oh, jolly good show, and you must be travelers. Welcome to Phoenix City. I am S. Cade, the mayor. Now, you wanted to see me? Is there something that I may be able to assist you with? Um, uh... Oh, what may I do for a pretty young lady like you? <laughs> I, I saw it. Saw it? And what did you see exactly, hmm? I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave off a black aura. It was like a fighting machine. And that Pokemon would attack people. Oh, oh, oh my! Pokemon like a fighting machine? It atta and it attacks people? Now, if that were true, that would be truly frightening. However, it is a little hard to believe. It's true. It's true, Mr. Mayor. Because I saw that Pokemon, I was made the prisoner of some frightening men until just a little while ago. Hmm, I see. I understand. I will order an investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, no, no, there's no need for thanks. We mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish. <laughs> Especially thugs that endanger a pretty young lady like you. I'll ask that you give me a little time on this matter. I promise we will get some useful information for you. Oh, yes. You appear to be a Pokemon trainer yourself. If so, I urge you to visit our city's pride and joy, a Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium, hello? I thought they were Coliseums. It's a breathtakingly beautiful stadium, befitting our oasis city. It's a jolly good show! <laughs> Yo, it's been a while since I've done uh, Pop's voice, so uh, that was a little rough. But anyway, let's go ahead and make our way to the stadium and see what's popping there. Because uh, the mayor says that we should go get our battle on. Yo, girl, what's up? Welcome to Phoenix Stadium. 
This is where we register trainers for challenges. However, the current challenge has already started, so we are no longer accepting trainers for this challenge. Please come back and enter the next challenge. Yo, I should have gave her, uh... I should have tried to do, like, Judy from uh, Avatar, because that's kind of what she looks like. I'm Judy. <laughs> I don't I can't do female voices, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Hi, are you, are you here to take part in the challenge, too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, me, too. I came here hoping to participate in the challenge, but I was disappointed by the time I arrived. The challenge had already started. I wanted to win the knockout challenge. I could have... I would have liked to win a cash prize and the TM. Hello? Snagging up some TMs. Isn't this city stadium amazing? Oh, I wish I could uh, soon battle at a stadium as fabulous as this one. It is a very beautiful stadium, actually. I mean, look at this water. Looks nice. It looks real nice. So let's go ahead and uh, jog outside here. Yay, magic! We finally found you, you filthy double-crossing traitor! Reckon the hideout wasn't good enough for you, so you ripped off the snag machine? You got some real nerve. Who are these people, huh? Are they Team Snaggle? Yo, I'm losing that voice already. And what do they mean by traitor? Magic, you mean... Yeah, that's right, pretty lady. He's from Team Snaggle, just like us. But he's no ordinary member. He's a snagger. He's the best in Team Snagum at snagging Pokemon without fail. No way. Is it true, Magic? Well, based on the fact that the two shady fellows that we ran into earlier said something about us being from Team Snagum, I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and lie to protect her. Oh, you critted your teeth, didn't you? Didn't you? Then it must be true. That's a little shocking. Game magic, come on, hand it over. Get back the snag machine you ripped off from the hideout. Snag machine? Magic, do you really have something like that? The snag machine's built for trainers. When a trainer puts the snag machine on, their pokeballs are converted. Ordinary pokeballs are turned into snag balls that can steal Pokemon from trainers in battle. Hey, you blabbermouth, keep, your, keep that stuff secret. I get it, Magic. That's why these creeps are chasing after you. Creeps? What do you mean by creeps? God, this is getting out us nowhere. If you won't give it back willingly, we'll take it back by force. Alright, well, looks like it's time to scrap. Team Snagum Waken. Waken, walking, waken, walking, walking, waken. He's got a core fish and a coughing. A core fish and a coughing. Seems legit. Let's do this. Do it to it. Umbreon, Espeon, let's go. Check out this coughing sprite. I, I keep wanting to call them sprites. They're technically models, not sprites. That is some throwback. That is some true throwback. I'm going to go ahead and... You know what? I'm going to secret power the core fish. See if we can get some hacks going. And then I'm going to confusion the coughing. Duffy! Yo, I love Espeon's animation. Bye, coughing. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'm, we're just going to be blowing people back here, especially at the beginning. The beginning of the game is pretty, pretty simple. It'll get, obviously, get a bit more challenging as time goes on. And the other thing about this game is grinding is incredibly difficult in this game because uh, there's actually no random encounters in the game and whatnot. Like, you can't just randomly encounter Pokemon. The only way you get Pokemon in the game, spoiler alert, is uh, by snagging them. But you'll find out more about that later, I am sure. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of difficult to grind. Like, literally, you just have to fight trainers to grind. And uh, it might get a little bit uh, a little bit tough for us in time at times. But uh, we, will, we will definitely power through it. Yo, and Espeon getting that mad level, level 26. Player defeated Team Snagum. Waken, walking, walking, waken. No, I'm not good enough. Blast your magic. Don't think this is over. We're going to get that snag machine back. Just you wait. Hmm. Well, what do you know, magic? So you're from Team Snagum. Oh, 
right, to be accurate, I should say former Team Snagum. It's okay, Magic, it doesn't matter to me who you are. After all, you're my Galleon Prince who rescued me when I was in trouble. So it doesn't matter. Besides, I thought of something after listening to those creeps. Listen, Magic, we should go shopping for some Pokeballs. Ah, oh, sounds like little girl is concocting a plan. But I think that right now is as good a spot as any for us to go ahead and wrap up this episode. And uh, I don't know what this was. But anyway, uh, we're going to wrap things up right here in the next episode. We're going to go and see uh, perhaps what... Uh, this lady's plans are about so I hope you enjoyed this episode as always if you did be sure to hit that like button down below for us because it needs your magic touch but uh thank you so much for your support and thanks for checking out the video but I'm gonna make it like an Abra and get out of here so have yourselves a wonderful day stay cool and we will catch you guys next time